Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Wow, we sure had a windy weekend. I'll tell you all about that in just a moment. When it comes to finding phenomenal seafood, you gotta go insane. That's right. Stop in to the Insane Seafood Market right there on Highway 64 in Columbia. Luke Midget and his crew work hard out on the water to make sure you have the freshest selection of seafood around. They provide a wide selection of fish, crabs, shrimp, oysters, and clams, just to name a few. Insane Seafood has a hot bar to satisfy that seafood craving right on the spot. Visit them online at InsaneSeafood.com and like them on social media. Go insane at Insane Seafood Market, Highway 64 in Columbia. Red Drum Tackle in Buxton is the oldest complete tackle shop at Cape Hatteras. And being the closest tackle shop to Cape Point, Red Drum Tackle has been welcoming fishermen to Hatteras Island with a wide selection of bait and tackle, skilled custom rod builds, rod and reel repair, expert knowledge and information since 1974. Red Drum Tackle knows how, when, and where to fish. To acquire this fishing brain power, visit them online at reddrumtackle.com. Red Drum Tackle, the oldest complete tackle shop at Cape Hatteras and the closest to Cape Point in Buxton. So if you were on the Outer Banks over the weekend, it blew and it blew and it rained and it rained and fishing was almost completely uh, wiped out from the wind, the rain, not much effort. No, Obviously, nobody went offshore and it may be a few days before they get back offshore again. Before that happened, they had very good giant bluefin tuna fishing with fish commonly being caught in the 500 to 600 pound range, which is a really nice class of bluefin tuna. But there hadn't been many other tuna, or at least the effort hasn't been there for the yellow fins and the black fins. All that's going to start changing as we get into April, which is a great time to go out and look for bigger catches of the yellow fins. Because remember, you have to let those blue fins go unless they're the smaller ones. But the yellow fins right now, you're limited to how many you can catch and there's a size limit, but you can keep them. Boy, that's a good fish to uh, probably, in my mind, the best eating of the of the tuna is the yellow fin tuna. Some people would argue that point. Uh, other than that... We had seen a few blackfin tuna, a few wahoo, um, really no mahi to speak of, no billfish. All of that stuff is swimming away down there off Florida. My little brother who fishes out of Daytona Beach said they're having some good mahi fishing. So hopefully that is a sign of things to come as well. Um, Nothing much going on on the beach. It was so daggum rough mostly that there was just very little effort. I did hear unsubstantiated report that last evening there were a few puppy drum caught down on the south end of of Hatteras Highland. That's uncanny confirm those so don't take it to the bank but uh really that's all we have to report on the offshore near shore and beach fishing i'll be right back to tell you about what's going on in the sound Boasting phenomenal seafood dishes, a great menu, and waterfront views with deck seating, Striper's Bar and Grill at the Shalabag Bay Marina in Manio serves a casual, fun-filled dining experience with an Outer Banks flair. With three floors to choose from, you're bound to find the perfect seat for you and yours while enjoying great food and fantastic drinks. To see our menu and to catch a glimpse of the beautiful views, go online to stripersbarandgrill.com. Striper's Bar and Grill at the Shalabag Bay Marina in Manio, where everyone's a VIP. Okay, so the sound fishing, nobody was out in boats. No, good thing they weren't. It was way, way too rough to be doing any of that. I did not see anybody fishing along the uh, Stumpy Point Highway. A lot of wind. The creeks were all really high. The ditch banks were high from a combined combination of tide and flooding rain. So they're just really a lot of freshwater intrusion will make those fish not bite as well when it comes like in, in the form of six, seven, eight inches of rain. So that's... Um, put all that fishing on the back burner as well but it will come back quickly and what we had right ahead of the blow blow was some really good speckled trout fishing so uh, the fish were getting bigger and those fish are still out there they didn't swim away during the blow they're still out there somewhere and uh, these guys that are out in their skiffs and small boats will find them quickly and get back onto that I did hear of a couple bass largemouth bass being caught in some sheltered areas yesterday afternoon that's the only freshwater fish I heard of but you know when the fishing news is slow we'll take anything we can get so we'll wait for the weather to settle down it's going to be another cool week but eventually we're going to turn the corner into some great spring fishing the table will set so get all your gear prepared and be ready and i'll let you know when something changes that's my report for you on this monday morning <laughs> 